All right, guys, something a little different today, and I want to just do this on the fly. And it's not so much about the watch per se. It's more about where you're at and when you're at that point. What I'm trying to get at is three years ago, I bought myself a Citizen Ecozilla, and I tried and tried to wear it, but there was things I just couldn't deal with. It's a big watch, but it's big in a different way than any other big watch is. Um, also, the way the buckle works is just kind of funky, and if you have any sort of wrist claustrophobia, this will induce it. So, what, I, what I'm trying to get at is, three years ago, I wanted to, I couldn't do it. Fast forward today, Keith sent over a bunch of watches, this being one of them, and it was double ticking. It was doing the low battery thing. And it's been crazy sunny outside and beautiful. And I work outside for a living. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to wear it. I'm going to wear it. It's going to get a full charge. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to see if I still feel the same way that I felt three years ago. Or if I feel differently about the watch. And I have to tell you guys 100% I feel differently about the watch. I absolutely love the Ecozilla. To the point where I was looking today... And I found one, I don't have any money to pull the trigger on it, but they made this in titanium as well. And I found one with an aftermarket titanium bracelet and everything. It's like $1,300, almost, or probably more than that, almost $1,400. Whereas you can get these things for like crazy cheap. So after I calm down and let myself, you know, like don't overreact and like, because, you know, I was like, sweet, now, now I want the Ecozilla. Now I can wear the Ecozilla. I wore it all day today and I absolutely enjoyed the whole day wearing this watch. So the reality is what I should do is buy the more affordable one or maybe just buy this one off Keith um, and enjoy it for what it is instead of entering down a rabbit hole. Just baby steps. Let's let's see if it's uh, if, if the love is real, you know, because... Like legit, three years ago, guys, you guys don't know how hard I tried to like really embrace this watch and it just wasn't working for me. And I'm excited that it is today it's working for me because these are iconic, they're fun, they're quirky. And out in the wild, uh, if another watch enthusiast sees it on your wrist, they're going to know that's an Ecozilla. Nothing really looks like this. Citizen does these crazy big watches. Here, let me take it off wrist so you can kind of see how it works so like that piece that's this is the way i take it off anyway but it's just like a you know double clasp system or buckle system so and there are some aftermarket options for i think it's sub parts or something like that for a bracelet but honestly i think it's great on this rubber strap it, it was nice and adjustable and it's such a beast you have this knurling here in case you don't know about ecozilla that looks like that would be your bezel turn that doesn't do anything. The bezel's up here, and then, yeah, when you tap it, it'll do that. It'll make that noise. Uh, but you basically put your fingers in these little notches, and you rotate it around. So the bezel action is not a highlight of this watch. What is the highlight of the watch? Well, it's quirkiness. Uh, obviously, it's boldness. Uh, easy to read, except for the date is small. Um, and it's quartz, so it's grab and go. And it's solar, so like you don't even have to worry about the battery. For the most part, sometimes the cells go bad. And it's left-hand left hand drive, which is also kind of funky. Uh, it's just a cool, fun watch. And they're crazy affordable. I think you can even still get them on Amazon. If you can, I'll put a uh, Amazon affiliate link down below just to kind of like selfishly try to plug that aspect of my channel. But size-wise, if you're curious, 48.3 millimeter. Uh, and it's kind of like a tuna in the sense that there's really no lugs. The... Uh, rubber strap goes like into the case so it's like 48 in all dimensions essentially uh, thickness also pretty thick depending on where you measure it i'm going to sneak and get a little bit thinner but 17.6 probably a little bit thicker than that plus i think it's mineral crystal it's not sapphire there are some higher end versions of the ecozilla uh, and again i had to be careful not to enter into the rabbit hole of looking at all the big citizen watches because as soon as I wore this today and I was like, I love it. I love the weight. So maybe I wouldn't like the titanium one, although I think I would. And I love the boldness of it. So Citizen owns that, man. They have a ton of options 
that are big and bold and uh, solar and just kind of fun. You can even get some automatic ones in certain generations. But cool, fun watch. And if you stay on the more affordable side of things, like there's a bunch of them out there under $500. They have like aviation style ones and dive ones. And uh, But I'm, I'm thinking 48 is my max. Some of those goes up into like the 50. This 48 with the integrated strap is going to be my max. The other thing that is awesome on this is the loom. I got to show you the loom. So awesome loom too that has that crazy cool blue almost BGW9 looking loom but, but it's a citizen proprietary one and then a green pip. So this video isn't about the watch. It's about maybe give another watch another chance or give watches that you automatically dismiss a chance in the first place. We evolve. We definitely evolve. Not just in how much we spend in watches, but, you know, look back sometimes and you might enjoy watches that you didn't really spend enough time with. Just be flexible, open-minded. I'll see you in the next vid.